In this video, we're going to be talking about manifold air pressure sensors, or better known as MAP sensors, and how to diagnose them. When you're checking with the scan tool, when you have the key on, before you actually start the vehicle, you want to check the uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor. You want to see what that reading is. Now, some vehicles have a barometric pressure sensor, which those are the same sensors, same types of sensors, and those readings should be identical or very close to identical. Now, that's basically me measuring the barometric pressure in the air. Now, that's gonna change with altitude. If you go high up on a mountain, that number is gonna change, and that should change with the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Once I start the vehicle, this number will change and that number should stay the same. At this point, the vehicle's at idle. That's the pressure that I have right now. And I'm just gonna accelerate the throttle, show you that it changes. And then when the throttle closes real quick, the vacuum's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go up real quick and then stabilize again. That's how it should look. So as we graph this, if we look at this, the units are only going up and down by so much. And that's good. Um, if you saw a sudden spike, like obviously I accelerated right there, but if you were at an idle and you saw a spike like that, going up or going down, then there would be an issue with the sensor intermittently not working properly. Right, so this is what a bad MAP sensor would look like if you compare this reading to the barometric pressure sensor. Um, it's significant difference. Um, there happens to be an open circuit with this. So that's when we're going to go check the wires and make sure we have all, our, uh, all the wires and all the connections are good. You can see with the vehicle running, the sensor is not doing anything, which it should do something. Staying at the same voltage or um, that same reading isn't isn't good. The MAP sensor is located right here on this vehicle. Uh, most of the time when you're looking at the intake you can see it's somewhere attached to the intake and the connectors on the back right here. There's three wires on this MAP sensor. Just check those wires. You can wiggle them while you're looking at some of the values to see if they change. Disconnect the connector. Just look for any corrosion in the connector. Everything looks good there. So now we're gonna check these circuits, but we need to know what they are and what they do. This gray wire right here is a five volt signal that's coming from the PCM. The computer sends the five volt signal out here, and then there's a low reference signal right here, this orange wire, orange and black. And what the low reference signal is, is basically the ground. It's grounded through the PCM. And the wire in the middle is the actual signal that the MAP sensor should send to the PCM saying what the pressure is, whether it's high or low. All right, so to test this, I'm gonna use a multimeter, a voltmeter. Um, you don't wanna use a test light because it's only a five volt circuit um, and it's not gonna light up the test light or depending on your test light, it probably won't light it up. Now I'm gonna put one lead on a ground and the other lead I'm gonna test the terminals. Now you wanna make sure you don't um, push into the terminals, you just touch them lightly. And on the voltage scale, I'm looking for five volts right there. And if you look at the meter, I do have five volts. Now if you had 12 volts there, that would not be good or anything significantly above five volts. Um, but based on our code that we have in a low voltage code, um, there shouldn't be higher voltage there. So that's good. To test the ground circuit, I'm actually gonna test in between those two terminals, uh, the low reference terminal, and then the five volt reference, and just make sure I have five volts again, and I do. So that's just basically making sure the computer is grounding that properly. So I'm gonna use a jumper harness that has a fuse in it, and it's just two wires and we wanna jump the green wire and the gray wire. So this is the five volts. So that's gonna send five volts down the signal wire. So that's what we should see on the scan tool. So I'm just gonna to lightly touch the terminals. 
If you have the proper leads, you can actually plug them in, just like that. And you can watch it, and it goes up to five volts, which is good. Disconnect it, connect it again, perfect. So we know our wires are good and our connector is good, so that would mean that the MAP sensor is bad. So I hope this video helped you understand how simple a MAP sensor circuit is and how to diagnose it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you ring that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.